South Sol eliminated the Yuan family in Mount Bai Lang. This victory allowed Sol to his position at Hua Bei. The efforts of Guo Zha, who fought Yang despite his illness, proved to be the deciding factor. Even though his life is momentarily in danger, Guo Zha was able to return to the battlefield once more. Later that same year, Cao Cao wasted little time in advancing his army south. For his first move, he attacked Liu Bei, who was stationed himself in Jing province at the time. At times, Liu Bei had fought by Cao Cao's side, while other times, he, turned, he had turned against him. Although he was weak at the time, he would eventually become a powerful foe in, if given the opportunity. Cao Cao placed Cao Ren in the vanguard and moved his forces into position to strike Liu Bei. However, Cao Ren unexpectedly met with fierce resistance. Had Liu Bei finally become the opponent that Cao Cao feared he would be? Zhao Houdun, Zheng He, Liu Dian, and Guo Zhao were about to find out on the fields of Jun Yi within Jing province. Okay. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Dynasty Wars 8, Extreme Legends Complete Edition on the PS4. Now, previous battle, Josh Sparrow, excuse me, Josh Shu, took to the field and defeated the remaining members of the Yuan clan. And plus at the same time, we managed to save Guo Jia from the Wuhan tribe. So normally, Guo Zha would not be in this battle, but luckily that we saved him in the Mount of battle of Mount Bai Ling, he arrives here, and he's playable as well, as you can see here. Now then, let's see, so we got Shahudun Guo Zha, Li Dian, and Zheng He. Um, What level are you, Zheng Hei? Oh boy! Zheng Hei is max leveled here? Hmm. I guess I must have been using them on ambition mode one time. Uh. Well, since he's max leveled, I don't think I'll be playing them today, so. I'm pretty sure we'll get another opportunity to play him again in later battles, assuming. I think today we will play as Guo Zha finally. What level are you, Guo Zha? Oh wow. Yeah, let's play as Guo Zha. Even though he's nearly max leveled. Uh, let's switch out your skills though. So, I think since Guo Zha is really high leveled, well, near max level, rather. I feel like I should take off my war at least for now. So it gives me the chance to land some Storm Rush and not defeat the enemy officer very quickly. And if it becomes a problem, I can always switch it mid battle. But. Uh, yeah, let's decrease the damage you see from enemy officers. Critical hits. I believe you should be fine here. Yeah, we're good to go, so let's go ahead and begin the battle of Xin Yi. With me here, I suppose our victory is all but assured. Hmm. What's the matter? Something bothering you? I know Guan Yu is back with Liu Bei now. But I'm surprised Cao Ren is struggling against them. You make a good point. Not to mention that he's using the Eight Gates Formation this time. Yet still he is pushed back. Even the Eight Gates Formation has no effect. <laughs> then the reason is clear. They have found themselves a strategist too. Whoever he is, it looks like he's got our number. Liu Bei has a strategist? Destroying such a beautiful formation. Our foes are truly savages. 
Sorry I'm late. I need to do better, I know. So, how's it looking? <laughs> this should be an interesting battle. Now that everyone is here, I'd like to explain the situation. Yeah, yeah, we're going after Liu Bei. Got it. Okay, let's go! Master Li Dian, your intuition is correct as always. However, please listen to what I have to say. Master Sao Ren is already in the field, but his forces are in trouble. It seems that Liu Bei has an excellent strategist on his side. First, we must go to Master Sao Ren's aid. After that, we will do as Master Li Dian said. Oh yeah! I heard something about that. There's a genius strategist in these parts known as the Sleeping Dragon. Does that mean that the Sleeping Dragon has sided with Liu Bei? If he has, then they already know what our next move is going to be. Yes, that is why in order to defeat Liu Bei, we must first capture his strategist. It may take some time, but it is the only way to ensure a victory. We must proceed with care and caution. Alright, you know the deal. Let's talk to everybody at camp. I have a bad feeling about this battle. Hmm, I don't think we'll lose, but... Well, let's just hurry to Master Sauron's aid. Then I could do something to turn the tides. The Eight Gates formation is completely ruined. Liu Bei has no respect for artisticity. But never fear, I will repaint this battlefield beautifully. Master Guo Jia, are you feeling all right? Maybe you, you should still be resting. Haha, <laughs> I won't collapse today. Thank you for your concern though. Besides, if I don't fight, then I won't be invited to the celebrity celebratory banquet. Ahaha! <laughs> I see. Well, you do seem fine. It's good to have you back on the battlefield, Master Guo Jia. Oh, he has another dialogue. We could be in trouble now that Liu Bei has a strategist. But we don't know actually... We don't actually know if it was the Sleeping Dragon or not. Guan Yu is sure to be in this battle too. Why did he have to go turn against Cao Cao? Well, if he's the enemy, so I will cut him down. Guan Yu, prepare to die by my hands. Okay, wow, there's a lot of people to talk here today. Oh, here's Cao Cao. So, the Yu Bei has a strategist, huh? One with enough skill to give Cao Ren trouble. I'd like to meet with this person sometime. Liu Bei is weak. I think we should just ignore him, but our lord feels differently. That Liu Bei is a lot tougher than I thought. It's a miracle that he survived this long. Liu Bei is quick on his feet, if we're not careful. Oh, um, I'm just simply relying on what I heard from Master Li Dian. Lord Zheng He is a very unique character. You simply cannot keep your eyes off heaven. Hey, let me talk to you about Lord Cao Cao. Did you notice how unhappy he looks despite winning at Guan Du? Rumor has it that he's upset that Master Guan Yu left him. There are plenty more wo powerful warriors out there. Let's hope he gets over this soon. Right, so if you recall, Guan Yu was temporarily joined Sao Sao at Guan Du. But afterwards, he just left and rejoined by his brother's side. Anyways, let's continue talking to everybody here. We are troops commanded by Lord Zheng He. Prepare to be dazzled by our beauty! Lord Zheng He is not only beautiful, but his moves are legendary! 
Happy reports of a man lurking about, hiding in his face. He might be rumored the uh, the rumored enemy strategist. Master Guo Zhao, you look good today. It's nice to see you taking better care of yourself. Uh, uh. I'm terribly afraid of the dark. I must always be near to some light. Master Shaho Dun is, is very determined lately. A good strategy is worth 10,000 men. That's how important they are to the outcome of the battle. They say there is a genius strategist here in Xin Yi. It could be one who has joined Liu Bei. Or could he be the one? I bet. But even if that's the case, I am not worried. Because we have Master Jia Xu and the others on our side. I have never seen Master Sao Ren struggle so much. Hope he's alright. Eight Gates Formation sounds cool, and with Master Siren leading it, we can't lose. The number of enemies Lord Sao Sao has not seemed increasing, despite defeating the Yuan clan and taking Hual Bay. There are so many personalities that go with strategists and warriors, like Master Jia Xu and Master Zheng He. It takes a lot of leadership to unify personalities like that. It's precisely where Lord Sao Sao has succeeded. Alright, I believe that should be everybody here. So, let's go ahead and walk over to the gatekeeper to start the battle. Shall we? I hear the enemy strategist is quite gifted. Should make things interesting. Time to go. Let's hope we can have a little fun out there. Understood. First, we must rescue Master Cao Ren. Let us head immediately for the Eight Gates Formation. It's quite a feat to disrupt the Eight Gates Formation. I'd very much like to meet the person responsible. The Eight Gates Formation is ever-changing. This also means that the slightest disruption can bring it down. Once inside, you must move exactly as I say. Fail to do so, and we will rescue ourselves. Oh my goodness. Where do you start the battle and where do we lost an allied officer? Anyways? We must find a way to overcome this situation. Let's head inside. Some damage, but the formation is still very much intact. Remain cautious. Even if it seems like a detour, we have to circle to the west. That's the only way to get to the center. The way to the west. A tremendous display of might and bravery. First things first. Perfect time. I was looking for basic combo attack. Test my new tactics. Charge one. I'll return after a charge four. Strategy. <laughs> Victory is so, in case you're wondering what the charge one is for, those little orbs can be also be used as little. Give the enemy everything you've got. The charge one can also be used as like a little defense, but when you activate one of the charge attacks. The orbs will fly all over the place, adding more damage to your enemies. Okay, so let's keep continuing showing off the charge attacks. Show off the storm rush now we have the chance. Nice! Victory is sweet. Managed to get a double kill from that storm rush attack. Anyways, let's proceed on. Basic mount attack. Charge mount attack. Come on. I want to show this off some more, so. And I believe if you get hit too, the orbs will fly over the place. Okay. Things just got serious. 
Let's go! I'm going to have your head! So Charge 5 with the second EX attack? Let's see if we can show off the first missile attack. First missile attack is just like just sucks them into the orb. What's that last one there, shall we? Let's see if we can land the counter. Okay, not bad. <laughs> That's the jump charge attack. Your skills are simply magnificent. Right, let's go ahead and hurry up and save Sarin before he dies. I'm glad to see you're safe. Now, let's switch to the offensive. Thank you for the assistance. I am lucky to be alive. Master Liu Bei has obtained a strategist of his own. I will not allow you to ruin this opportunity. I challenge you to a duel. Think you have what it takes to beat me? You are no what's the trick? Man, that's the effect. Of the mission was on the brink of collapse and would have forced me to retreat. From the enemy's movements, I would say their commander is in the south. That is the direction we must go. Okay. Let's head south and defeat the enemy's charges. A tremendous display of might and bravery. Man, look at that glow. Glow pepper. Help Master Zhao Yun. It was always going to be difficult. Oh, but we've caused enough damage to the formation to do this. It looks oh boy. Like plan has failed. Still, I am interested in fighting you nonetheless. It's very dangerous. Would have been trouble there. No, let's show off that again. I hope you enjoy this. Man, that's crazy. Crazy air attack, but I love it. I believe the switch attack is a grab move? Yep, totally a grab move. Pretty odd one, to be honest. I don't wanna kill him with the enemy stuff. There you go. Is this all I was capable of? Wow. Maybe I should be proud I even made it this far. He certainly took a lot of time. At least the enemy movements will be easier to read now, anyway. Hold on before we see the setback like camp. Shu Shu failed to break their formation. Come, Jung Fei. We'll have to overwhelm them with brute force. Leave it to me, brother. Real men fight with their hands, anyway. Oh, I don't like the looks of these two. We better split up to stop them. I've only just recovered from my illness, and now I must fight the god of war? This should be interesting. <laughs> Victory is sweet. Amazing! Oh, I cannot hit this guy with a jump attack. Alright, let's go ahead and fight Jing Fei and Guan Yu here. Are you ready to face me? Luckily, you you're invincible from enemy attacks while you do your missile attacks. Otherwise, I would have been hurt by Zhang Fei there. The next time I see you, you're finished. <laughs> Victory is sweet. Uh, 
I don't know track on this bout in this oh, was that right here? Oh let me get right here real quick. <laughs> so uh, the battle track that's playing right now is called Nesta. Stole your horse squan you. <laughs> I actually don't want to get off the horse, otherwise I'll run away. <laughs> oh boy. Get away from you really quick, because you're doing Storm Rush. That's another thing too, if you're in a weapons disadvantage against any officer, they will have a chance to Storm Rush against you. And they hurt. That's not what I want, clearly. Yeah, right. I have no choice but to retreat. Ha 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 ha! Victory is sweet. You are no ordinary fighter, now are you? I gotta say, Gorjaw in these games is actually a pretty interesting character to play. To me, he felt his playstyle is more unique compared to the other. Strategist characters in this game. Let's go ahead and move forward. Good. You all mobile unit captains here? It seems so. How many are you here? Mm, I'm, no, I don't think that's enough. Hold on. This is, I gotta show off the Rage Musao and the. I believe the second. The second Musao attack. Oh, and then Rejo's gonna run away. Can we just show off the second Musao attack first? Uh, let's try that again. I want to think that's a grab attack. A grab and style attack. Tell me if I'm wrong. Comment section. Taking my ally as a captive. I will defeat you and rescue Shu Shu. It is hardly wise to risk your life for a single strategist. Liu Bei, this day shall mark the end of your fate. Let's see if those mobile unit captains are there, because if I use the Ridge Musa on Liu Bei, you're probably just going to kill him. Where'd they go? Oh, the mobile unit captain's back here. Oh well. Cross my fingers, I don't actually hit you, Bay, with the rage missile. Uh. I better give it my all. Pretty neat rage we saw, I gotta say. Also, Lord Jaw is another character that could dash out. Dash out enemy attacks and you could use the dash to cancel one of his attacks as well. Oh boy, it looks really good. You captured him, knowing this would happen, didn't you? Perhaps. Let's just see what transpires, shall we? I want to see how Lord Sao Sao evaluates him as a strategist. Shh. 
Shushu, isn't it? The strategy you deployed against the Eight Gates formation was quite something. Something of what exactly? I failed to take a single stronghold of yours. Although, I did allow Lord Nu Bay to escape. Maybe that's enough. They'll take things from here. They'll do a better job of it than me too. My role in things is complete. What remains of my life is yours. Huh. That's all the spirit you have? You might be intelligent, but I have no use for a man with so little ambition. <gasps> Damn. Sasha just threw away sushi just like that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode of Dynasty Warriors 8. Huh, I could have sworn, if I recall, she was supposed to join Cao Cao on that cutscene. Hmm. Ah, yeah, I'll figure it out. I mean, I'm, maybe I'd done something wrong in this battle or something. I'll look it up myself. Anyways, again, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you, please leave a like. If you enjoy, also comment as well. And what else that needs to be said here? Oh, yes. Hope you enjoy me playing as Gorja, finally, even though we passed like two or three battles that we had the opportunity to play as him. Again, he normally does not show up on this battle, because canonically he does die in the Battle of Mount Bailang. Well, after the Mount of Battle Mount Bailing if you didn't help him out. Other than that, once again, um, like, comment, and sub to the channel to stay tuned for more episodes of Dynasty Wars 8. And we will see where Sasao's ambition leads us next in the story. Until then, take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next episode. GG.